Hi everyone, this is Meg. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on here real quick to show you guys um, how my hair looks a couple days after my beachy hair tutorial. I just took it out of a messy bun. Um, that's how I sleep with it, either like in a top knot or just in a messy bun. And as you can see, a lot of my curl has fallen out and it looks super beachy and kind of messy. Um, so what I like to do first is just to take my blow dryer on the lowest heat setting and just blow dry my hair at the roots to kind of just fluff it up a little bit and give it a little bit more volume. Um, and then this is what it looks like. So after it cools down, um, I will take my dry shampoo. Right now I'm using Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo. And I just take it and spray it at the roots wherever I think I need it. Like wherever it's looking kind of lifeless at the roots. So now I'll let that sit for a minute so it kind of absorbs any extra oils. Um, once you put your dry shampoo in, try and let it sit for at least a minute, I would say, just to let it kind of suck up any of the oils in your hair and let it actually do its job. If you kind of rub it in right away or try and brush your hair out, then, it's, then it doesn't have a chance to really absorb the oils and kind of freshen up your hair again. So after it's set, I'm just going to take my fingers at the roots and kind of just rub it back and forth like that. And this is just going to like amp your hair back up and give you a lot of volume. So now depending on how, you know, your hair looks, um, well, how kind of lifeless it is or how, you know, dirty it seems, you'll want to use a little bit more or less sh dry shampoo depending on your hair texture. So right now, I'm, I feel like I could just go out with my hair like this. We are actually headed to go do like an outdoor workout. So we're going to the park and we're gonna be outside. So I'm just gonna put my hair in a messy bun or wear a hat, but um, I wanted to show you guys, I would definitely like go out to lunch with my hair like this or run errands. Um, if it's looking a little bit dry, the ends of my hair are color treated, so it can look a little dry on like the third day. I use just a little bit of this Garnier Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum and just take a tiny little bit of that on the palm of my hand and then just work this into the ends and kind of scrunch it up. It smells really good and it'll just kind of help make your hair not seem so dry. Depending on the climate and how your hair texture is, um, your hair might be like get greasy all the way down to the end. If that's the case, then you probably don't want to go a couple days without washing your hair. Um, but my hair does get kind of dry at the end, so I'll put a little bit of that serum in. Um, but I don't go anywhere near the top of my head with that or you'll look like a greasy mess. So as you can see, it's like beachy, you have some volume, you have waves to your hair, but it's not those tight curls like we started with on day one. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my John Frieda hairspray and just spray a little bit of it kind of where I want to amp up the curl a little bit. Um, like I said in my other hair tutorial when I first did my hair, my hair is naturally curly so I don't have a problem holding curl this long um, because that's what my hair naturally wants to do. But if I just set it with the wand then I kind of get the curls that I want. If I were to let my hair air dry, it just kind of gets like somewhat spirally, kind of frizzy. It's like not that cute. Um, and then the only other thing that you could do is just take your teasing brush and just tease it up, you know, in the spots where your hair might have fallen. Or, you know, you don't have to do this either if you don't like larger hair. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a couple different options of what you can do with your hair on the third day. Yeah, really sure. simple, you just take a headband, I have this little lace one right here, and you could put on a really cute headband. Now, especially for summer, I love wearing headbands to the beach, to the pool, just really kind of like boho-y and cute. Or you could have your, tuck your hair back like this and kind of put your hair up and make it really like kind of 60s-ish with like the bump and you have a cute headband. You could do this with like a sundress, shorts, it's super easy and fun. So that's one thing you could do is with kind of a circle headband like that. So the next thing you could do is just take a ponytail and put your hair in a ponytail that's kind of high 
and just puff it up. Pull some pieces out at the front and just kind of play with it. You could take your comb and kind of tease it at the top. So you have this kind of really fun big ponytail and then you could do any kind of headband. This one's super cute. I got it from J. Crew a while ago. Um, you could do this or kind of just the band like I showed you before. Or if your hair is looking really bad and you're in a rush or you're going to be working out or something like that, you could always do my favorite, which is a baseball hat. Um, it's almost St. Patrick's Day, so this one's appropriate. Um, and either just wear your hair down like this, which I think is cute with like jeans and like a white t-shirt. Or you could pull your hair to the side and do a ponytail, which is also fun. You could do a messy bun that's kind of low and to the side. Or my favorite, which is super easy, is you just take all your hair and put it in a loose French braid. And since you have this texture to your hair, you're going to get a really full braid that you can then kind of puff out and play with. So you leave just like a bigger tail and then you can piece it out and just play with it. And you have a really fun side braid. And this you could wear either like workout clothes or you could wear with jeans and a t-shirt. And it's really cute to like run errands. Or this is so perfect if it's raining out and it's kind of gross. You don't want to get your hair wet anyway. I always go for a hat. So, yeah. so there's tons of different things that you guys can do with third day hair that you don't have to put any extra heat on. And those are some of my go-to styles. And not even for third day hair. I think they're cute. Like sometimes I'll just blow dry my hair straight and put a hat on because I like to wear baseball hats. So I hope that I gave you guys some ideas on how to style your hair and kind of extend one hairstyle out to a bunch of different ways um, without putting any extra heat on your hair. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!